This is how to remove the rear bumper on a 91 High Ace Cruising Cabin LH119 chassis. So there are two parts to this bumper. There's the exterior skin, and then there's a metal sub assembly, a 90 degree bracket that bolts into the frame of the van with four M12 bolts, roughly there access from underneath going in towards the frame and by m12 i mean it's a 12 millimeter bolt head i think the threads are m8 1.25 i think that's the size of the threads and the pitch of the threads i don't know a lot about metric bolts and threads i just know that the size of wrench or socket that you're going to put on there is 12 millimeter and i probably We'll keep referring to it as M12 just because in my mind I need to go to the toolbox. What do I grab? M12, you know, metric wrench, 12 millimeter. So you can see that wrench is hanging on one right there. Uh, one, there's one back there, two, and then there are two on the other side corresponding to where these are. There, there's the other one, two on that side. So if you remove those four bolts, those two screws, and then unclip these sides, you can just pull them by hand, they'll pop. They're kind of brittle though, so you will eventually break them too. Then the whole thing will just slide out and that metal sub-assembly will stay inside. And you won't have a problem like I did because initially I took it off just thinking I was going to save time. I couldn't really see underneath. There were a lot of wires here. There was a sonar system coming back. And I, there were wires and there was silicone on everything. And I'd sprayed some rust proofing. So it was just kind of a nasty situation. So I could easily see that there were some M12 bolts up in there. And so I decided to take them out, five of them. And then there were three on the bottom. There's one here, one in the center, and one at that end. So eight of them, and I cracked each and every one of them. Each one just snapped out the plastic on the bumper. So everywhere it was bolted on is now broken off, so. But if you take the whole bumper off first, you can remove that sub-assembly without damaging it. I'm sure you could spray some PB blaster into these. Maybe grab them with a the vice grips or something and slowly crank them out more carefully. But I unfortunately did not do that. I tried to remove the skin from the sub-assembly. So once those two Phillips screws are loose, you remove the four M12 bolts from inside. The bumper will just come off. You have to pry off the corners. Um, this is the male side there. Fits into that female side, top and bottom. You pry them open. Uh, the screwdriver or something, or just kind of pull it by hand. And then the whole thing will fall down. And in my case, I had sonar in here. So there were a whole bunch of wires coming out attaching to the sonar sensors, which I removed all of that, uh, plugged some of the holes, and I'm gonna I ordered some reversing lights to put in there. So those four bolts there come off first. And they hold this inner bumper assembly on. And then there are three on the bottom, and one, two, three, four, five and one, two, three. And I cracked them really bad because I went ahead and did it the wrong way. And I tried, because the only ones I could really see from the bottom are these ones. So I tried taking them off and they just snapped. And actually a couple of these, one of these was broken to begin with. So I've just zip tied these back on and that's holding it really as much as it needs to be held. And these ones here, I actually made a repair I drilled a hole in the bottom and I ran a little piece of flat iron with two holes in it. So 
So this piece of flat iron basically gets drilled, drilled and bolted underneath with 5 16th bolts. And then it creates a new hole, something like that, where that bolt is. So the bottom one is attached to the bumper and the top one gives you a place to put those clips back on. The new hole on the bottom. The new hole is drilled in the bottom with a silver, it's a 5 16 bolt with a nylon, uh, a nut with a nylon retaining sleeve on it. So it's not going to go anywhere even if it loosens up. And so I just drilled the hole using a die grinder and then I had to uh, take down some of the back just to flatten it, get this into where it needed to be roughly with a bolt on top and the clip could attach. So I basically recreated those plastic parts that broke off. Something like that. So this is bolted to the bumper on the bottom. And then these bolts are very special bolts. They've got a shoulder on them. I don't know why. I guess to give you some play or some adjustment, the bigger hole on this, and they run in there, and that just runs in then to that, um, that clip there, that nut that's on the clip. And so that's, I'm really happy with how those turned out. There's a little bit of shitting around, but one, two, three, three out of five ain't bad for this. So putting the bumper back on, I've got it set in place. These are lined up, and these are just sort of sitting on top. These clips aren't in yet, but that's where it needs to be. And I <clears throat> put the four bolts in, just started them. So this is still quite loose. And I'm gonna just get these screws in. That'll help line everything up. So there's a, that kind of gap there. So this one could go up a bit to meet that. I'm not gonna torque that down quite yet. up there so I just got to tighten these four bolts and I think you could probably get a ratchet in you could probably get a ratchet in there but I've got this wrench out so I'll just use this so the bumpers in the lights are in they're super bright and that's all there is to putting that bumper on Toyota 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 Slik starter denne låta, ja låta, ja låta, ha jeg skammer nå.